Today I'm going to talk about how we milk the cows at our farm and what we use to milk them. Instead of using a parlor which looks like this, we use AMS Galaxy robots which have two boxes so that we can milk in total of four cows at once. Our barn set up for the robots is in the front of the barn we have bedding pack which is four animals that just had a calf or are sick and then what we have what we call general popularity where it, all the rest of the animals lay in stalls. Before we had the robots we used the 8x8 parlor which made it so we could milk 16 cows at once. We stopped using the parlors about eight years ago. We stopped using the parlor because it was our herd was getting bigger and was taking lo longer and longer to milk with the parlor. And the barns that we had our animals in for the parlor were getting old and worn out. We have the bedding pack so that if an animal is sick, it's easier to get to treat them when they're here with few animals rather than in general popularity with hundreds of animals. And it's also easier to get them into the robot when they're closer to the robot. The animals that are at the bedding pack get to the robot by coming through the bedding pack, coming through here, and can come in the door down here. Cows that are in general popularity could come either in these finger gates or the finger gates that are over here. The same setup is like this on the other side of the robot, except this part for the Medicaid animals is swapped on the other side of the robot. The nice thing about these finger gates is once the animal comes through, they can't come back out because the finger gates have the bar, a bar right here that stops the finger gates from going back far enough for the animals to get out. This is nice so that animals can't get out of the holding pen and you don't once the cow walks into the box the robot needs a way to recognize which animal it is that's where this beaker comes into play beaker is strapped on to the front leg of the cow with this strap on our cow's leg that's what it looks like the animal it is light enough where the animal cannot feel it so it does not harm the cow the cow's front leg is right about here in the box the, the monitor that's right there then reads what the number of the beaker is and tells the robot which cow is in the box. By having the robot know which animal is which, you can then have an organized menu of what animal, which animal produced how much amount of milk and then the robot cannot the reason the robot only allows cows to get milk so many times in a day is that if an animal comes into the robots multiple times in like a short period of time, their udders is not full and they haven't produced enough milk. So they'd be in the robot for like five seconds after they got attached and already be empty of milk. One of the main ways we get animals to come into the robot is because they get pellets, which are dumped into this bowl. To the cows, pellets are like candy, so they would come up to eat this and help them to be encouraged to come into the robot. The nice thing about the robots is that cow can only eat so many pellets in a certain amount of time, so the bowl isn't filled to the brim because the pellets just keep constantly dumping in. Uh, the cows get a certain amount of pellets for every minute or so they eat and it's also by weight too. If you guys like this type of video please drop a like. Um, I'm planning to get a part two out for this video and if you have any questions please leave your questions in the comments below. Make sure to also subscribe if you like this type of content. Way back